Hello, and this is Rohan, and yeah, today we're going to be looking at for our last game, Persona 2 Innocent Sin. So, yeah, I haven't actually done a video on this yet, <laughs> where I was commenting, because yeah, Persona 2 is definitely a game I'm going to consider doing on my channel at some point. So, yeah, this will be more of a relaxing episode where I talk about what I'm liking, what I don't like as much, you know, all that good stuff, because yeah, I'm generally very positive about this game, so yeah. But anyway, so yeah, Persona 2, obviously, well, yeah, it's the second Persona game. That is cool, but yeah, <laughs> I bet a lot of people don't know too much about this game, because again, it is not part of the modern Persona line. But yeah, this game is also very different from Persona 1 as well. Anyway, Robin Goodfellow, oh boy. <laughs> if you know, you know. We're gonna get rid of him by talking to him. So anyway, yeah. Main things about this game is that it uses fusion spells. And fusion spells are important because, yeah, not only are they pretty useful, but also... Um... They can help... Close your eyes. They can help mutate your personas too, so yeah. And yeah, that's why you're gonna be seeing me use them a lot, so yeah. Then we're gonna get Robin Goodfellow out because, yeah, if you know, you know. I told my friend why they're so dangerous, so yeah. But yeah, I'm following a guide with my playthrough too, just so yeah, I'm well practiced for when I do actually play this on the channel, so yeah. Anyway, this is kind of an annoying counter, but that's okay. Because I really want to show my bean splash. The only problem is, is that. Those enemies in the back, they null it, so yeah. So I'm trying to think, what layout do I want to use? Because yeah, most of my guys can use it, I think. So, I think I'll use it like... Yeah, I'll use it like this, I think. It's just that you won't be able to attack the other dudes, so yeah. Or you won't be able to attack, um... These guys are immune to earth, these guys are immune to water, and we're using water, so you never need to do that. I mean, I can even use Miragi here too, but anyway. I'm trying to learn this game too, because yeah, I do want to do a playthrough of this on the channel too, so yeah. My first playthrough is kind of like a practice to see uh, what I could do. But anyway, here's a fusion spell, Bane Splash. You need two water and one earth. And yeah, those guys are immune to it because they use water. And yeah, generally speaking, from what I can tell, you want to end the battle with a fusion spell. Unfortunately, you won't be able to do that here, but that's okay. And yeah, I've got <laughs> Surya there, the Segway Rider. As my friend likes to say, because yeah, I'm actually, yeah... I am actually kind of live streaming this game a little bit, it's kind of weird, but yeah. On Discord, yeah, I'm able to share my gameplay with this. It's a lot of fun, so yeah. And yeah, I believe we want to go up the stairs. There you go, I'm following a guide, so I'm probably going to be taking this kind of slow. But anyway... We want to take the center stairs, so yeah, we want to do that. Yeah, this is just some random dungeon that I'm at, so we want to go here, I think. So anyway, as for some things about this game, yeah... The encounter rate is decently high. It doesn't bother me that much, but I can never see it bothering some people. At least here we can use Bane Smash no problems, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because, yeah, generally speaking, yeah, using fusion spells is the best way to level up a persona. So, yeah, that's what I want to do. So, yeah. I think, yeah, because, again, I want to play this on the channel. I'm not going to talk too, too much about this game. Did I, overdo it? I guess, yeah, I'll mention my main chrism. It is actually how... Um, negotiation works. The problem is, is that, yeah, it's very easy to make a persona for demon happy. The problem is making it eager, because they like to ask questions when you make them eager. And the problem with that is, is that, um... The problem with that is that, yeah, the questions feel very orangey, so it's making me really want to maybe use save states. Because you want to... mainly this... yeah. What I'm trying to say is, yeah, the main thing you do is that you make a pact with the demon, that gives you um, a lot of perks, but the main thing is that if you make the demon eager again, when you see it again, when you make it eager and you see it again, 
It will not only give you some cards to help you some personas, but also the circuit change format, right? Hell is very good, so I kind of don't want to do that, so yeah. At least not at the moment, so yeah. There should be an iron round here. Any of those. Strength card, you can give that to Persona during Fusion Bay, right? I guess I could talk a little bit about Fusion Bay. Yeah, basically, yeah, how this game works, it's kind of interesting. Basically, every um, demon, except for ones you can't negotiate, like these ones, funny enough, um, you want to... I think here I want to use the yeah, Craggy Fang, which I guess we can do like this. That's fine by me. And I guess we can use Dragon Flight. Actually, the Blazing Burst is slightly better here. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like this, because yeah, then the Craggy Fang goes last. And I can't want those personas to get mutations, so yeah. I believe that's how it works. From my... <laughs> just playing through this game at the moment. And there you go, that's very good damage. And we can use Craggy Fang and maybe finish them. I guess we'll see. Yeah, all those personas are the ones I want to see level up, so yeah. So maybe I, <laughs> I just use Craggy Fang a lot. Anyway, there you go. Yeah, it's interesting how negotiation works. Basically, yeah, each demon has an arcana, so... And yeah, make them eager, they'll give you cards from their arcana. That sounds good, but again, it's very RNG, it feels like, to actually, you know, make them... It feels very RNG to, you know, make them, uh, <laughs> give you the cards sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, the negotiation's easy because yeah, you've seen the question before, so you kind of know what to expect, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to think, where do I go next? Let me go stairs to the south, so I assume it's down there. I'm not going the right way, so... <laughs> Ready or not, here I go. Anyway, sing on negotiations. Yeah, we're having one right here, so yeah. So here's the thing, so... You can say that, but sometimes it just doesn't want to work. Like, yeah, sometimes you say that and it makes it angry. And you do not want to make a demon angry because then the pact is null. So, yeah, that's very annoying. I do think that, yeah, negotiations is kind of annoying sometimes in this game, so yeah. Oh, no. You want to make them eager. Anyway, I'll teach you. You like that for once, or she liked that for once, so that's good. Sometimes it doesn't, so yeah. <laughs> that's my main problem, because I want to fuse, because fusing is very fun in this game. Oh, no. Yeah, actually worth that time, so there you go. And yeah, that's what you want to do. Get the Arcana card, but also get free cards, and free cards... They can turn to everything in the Velvet Room, which is very nice. Anyway, this is a trap, so I'm not going to take it. I need to take the other side to go to the second floor. Bring it on. Anyway, Nekamada, I don't really need to worry about them, so I'm just going to use... Uh, what's it actually lead to? Also, actually, I don't know. I do have a Nekamada, so that's kind of interesting. I don't think I fought one, is the reason, so yeah. I'm just going to hope that Craggy Fang is good enough. And yeah, we'll use yeah, these two. And then yeah, the rest can use these first. But anyway, like so. Blue Kiss, that's charm, I think. But it didn't work good. But anyway, yeah, that's my main pick. Other than that, yeah, I guess maybe the difficulty, but then again, I'm more of a person who doesn't mind the game being easy rather than too easy, rather than being too hard. And yeah, I think the main reason why this game is too easy is something kind of out of control. There's something weird with the damage format where enemies just don't do damage. It's not a problem in any other version of Persona 2, whether it's Eternal Punishment on the PS1 or the Eternal Punishment on the PSP, so yeah. So it's kind of weird, it only affects this game for some reason, which yeah, it's kind of strange, but yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, we look at Chong good, so I can keep using Craggy Fanker. Alright, so yeah. <laughs> but other than that though, yeah. Again, the battling is definitely not the main reason why this game is so low. It's definitely the story, and yeah, I don't mind that. You sure 
Because again, the characters are good. I like what the plot is going so far. I have seen the plot before, but it's been so long that I actually can't really remember what happens vividly. I can remember some things, but yeah, not too many things. So yeah. So we're back on the first floor. So yeah, we need to take the other stairs to the second floor. Let me have a look. If I look at my map. those stairs probably, where I haven't been yet, so I think. <laughs> anyway, so we got more Boosh views. I think I will chat to them. Because, yeah, why not? Maybe getting more free cards is a good thing, because, yeah, it means more fun with fusion. My guide actually is very light on the fusing. It only fuses what you really need. Meanwhile, I'm here and I want to try and get more stuff. And as you see that, yeah, it worked. Last time, it was happy when I said that. Now it gets angry, and I don't know why. So, yeah. Again, I think it's just because, yeah. I think it's just because, yeah, this is kind of how... This is just kind of how, um... The negotiation was in all the S&T games, so, yeah. Because you got not turn, you give them something, and then they just leave. Because, you know, they're like that, so, yeah. I think I want to go here, although this is just a dead end of my at least, so... I'm not so sure where it wants to take me to be honest, but I guess we'll see. The guide I'm reading? Or, you know, I'm just, you know, completely <laughs> misreading it, but that's okay. Anyway, let's use more craggy things here. I can just repeat what I did. Water Valiant definitely helps, because, yeah, you don't have to reset your... Fusion spells. Sometimes you do have to because the enemies resist what you're using, but that's okay. Man, I can't want to talk about some other things too, so yeah. And it actually didn't die, but it's gonna die to this, so yeah. I definitely wanna I definitely wanna get my craggy fang to a point where it just kills everything because yeah, that definitely helps, so yeah. So anyway, yeah, what I'm trying to say, so yeah, I kinda wanna talk about some other things. Because, yeah, I'm out here playing Persona 2 while, yeah, everyone else is thinking about Metaphor, which I think has come out at this point. I could be wrong because, yeah, again, I'm not following the game too, too much. I think, yeah, my main ideas with Metaphor, I'm probably going to be playing it kind of blind, I think. I don't think this is where I want to be. So, yeah, let me see. I'm not so sure where I want to go. <laughs> I guess we'll just figure it out on our own. Anyway. Don't but yeah, there's a very good reason why I'm playing this right now. Again, I did just keep Grandchild so far, so my quota on playing racing games is pretty decent, I'd say. So I think it's time to head back into trying out more RPGs I want to try out. And yeah, Persona 2 definitely came to mind because it's a game I want to play in the channel. And yeah, I'll definitely do it. I think my main gripes at the moment is potentially how grindy my playstyle is. But I'll figure some stuff out. Because yeah, that definitely feels like, yeah, I'm taking my time with this game. So yeah, I'm going to get quite overleveled, but I think it's not bad. Because it means that, yeah, I get to fuse more. And again, that's fun because... <laughs> Having more persons to play with is obviously a good guy. thing, so yeah. I'm a person to use is obviously a good thing, so yeah, I don't mind the fact that yeah, I'm gonna take my playthrough quite slowly, so yeah, I don't think this is where I wanna be. Let me look at my map again. I assume I wanna go is it the opposite side? It's hard to say. I'm gonna go back to those stairs, so yeah. That just wasn't. Well, you know, maybe it's somewhere else on this floor. Yeah. <coughs> Where we need to be. These guys actually lead to Craggy Fang, I think, so this is definitely gonna be good. So let's do that. I'm actually not getting too many mutations, but I guess it's fine. But anyway, yeah. I think the main reason why I want to try Persona 2 specifically is again. I do think, out of all the S&T spin-offs, Persona is definitely the one that, I don't know, feels the easiest, I guess. <laughs> okay, Persona is definitely the most popular, so that definitely helps too. 
Of course, a lot of people I know really love this series, so again, I want to try more games. And again, I'm actually decently well informed, I guess. I want, I want to say well informed. I'm, I'm feel pretty decent with the series so far because again, I already have Persona One, Persona Three, and Persona Five under my belt now. So yeah, I kind of know what I'm doing. So yeah. It's just that, yeah, when it comes to other ST games, yeah, I haven't really touched, like, anything. The only thing I had done was the original ST5, so yeah. Of course, I would love to try DDS at some point. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, again, you know, yeah, while I have played a decent amount of Persona, I haven't really touched much else when it comes to ST, but that's okay. I mean, Necromata gets a mutation. And Limp Poison 4. So that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, let me see. Where do I want to go? <laughs> once again, it wants me to go back to the first one. I guess maybe through here. I guess this works. Yeah, I guess it works. <laughs> so, anyway, there should be an item around here, I think. So yeah, hopefully we are going the right way, so yeah. So I'm gonna keep using Craggy Fanker. Unfortunately, uh, most likely not gonna be enough for the Necromata Bats. Okay. <coughs> At least we can kill those things. And yeah, we get the rank up, good. Because yeah, I guess I could talk a little bit like that. I do like it. But again, it is very light on fusing. Basically, it only fuses what it needs for fusion spells, so yeah. I mean, the main reason why is, is that, yeah, you can actually keep Personas around for a long time if they keep mutating, because they do gain stats, which definitely helps. And again, yeah, with enemies not doing so, so much damage, yeah, it does mean that, yeah, you don't, it basically means less time negotiating, and again, negotiation can be very frustrating. Maybe that's a trap. It didn't really do that much damage, though, so yeah. Back on the second floor. Is this where I want to be? I guess we'll find out. I hope it is. <laughs> Maybe I just follow my grind really badly. But anyway. So yeah, there's a Robin Goodfellow, so we want to get rid of him. I ain't, I don't even know what the Robin Goodfellow is even weak to, so yeah. So we'll do some impressions once again. To make him happy. Again, you can make them happy no problem. That's what I because they never ask questions when you make them happy, so yeah. As you're seeing here, Close your if there's eyes. a dangerous enemy like this Robin Goodfellow, then yeah, you can, yeah. Um, just make it happy and then it's gone. So yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, we won't be able to kill this, but it's okay. Once again, I'll keep using Craggy Fang. I think I want all these persons of both to level up from it, so yeah. That's why we're doing it. So, if it does live, that's okay. Again, it could very well resist that, but I'm not so sure. It doesn't look like it resists with that kind of damage, but yeah. Although that definitely does a lot. You see that? So long. Anyway, again, hopefully we're going the right way. <laughs> again, this is more of a casual little look episode too, because again, or instance, should be same. Because again, I'm definitely going to consider doing this on the channel. Again, a lot of people wanted me to. Back then, I was being very not confident because, um, yeah, this game's so different from Persona One. So yeah, that's why yeah, I didn't want to do it right away. It's a Faust, which I'm gonna hope that Craggy Fang is good against. So yeah, you can't negotiate him. He's like a treasured demon sort of thing. So yeah. It's kind of like the monster in the box in... in <laughs> I was about to say from Final Fantasy, actually. That's kind of how these work. They're kind of stronger enemies, and the uh, the fiend them gives you some nice items. From the chest. And there you go. Yeah, that does a lot because both those personas are incredibly strong. You get a Miracle Egg, which yeah, I know in Persona 3 that's full SP. I think it's that in this game too, so yeah. So we got that. Now we can go to the third floor and just keep going because there isn't many items left, so that's good. In fact, yeah, that was pretty basic. So now on the third floor, 
So you want to go back to the second floor, apparently. So let's just keep going. <laughs> what are we going to find? More Necromonics. That's fine. So again, yeah. Let's talk about those other SMT or Atlas games, which I'll be saying because yeah, they're full technically is the one. Again, I'm interested in that. I'll see if I get it. But again, it's not a high priority for me. Because again, trails exist. And also, yeah, maybe it's only free too. Although, yeah, from what I can tell from my brother, he likes it, but he isn't, you know, he doesn't want to get it, you know? I think he's probably content just watching his friend play it, so yeah. That's how I feel. Well, the one interesting thing I've heard from comments and stuff, well, not comments, YouTube thumbnails, I guess, when I was scouring the internet, it sounds like not many people like episode Icus. I wonder why that is. I do wonder if the yeah, one, is it not as good as the answer, or two, is it just people don't shy for the answer? I guess that's one interesting thing. I still don't remember the story very well. I think I did watch a play for the answer before. But the problem was is that, yeah, that was a long time ago, so I don't really remember what happens exactly, so yeah. I only know very little, so yeah. It's kind of like how I was at Persona 3 when I actually first played it. I think I saw a play for it beforehand, so I remembered a few things, but most of it was definitely blind, so yeah. I mean, there's an item here. Which is money, I think, so yeah. Maybe these guys again, you want to use fire, don't use water. So I'll do that. Like so. <laughs> Once again, try to level up these so That's mainly what I do when I explore dungeons to try to level up the You know, again, you don't need to if you don't want to. If there's a person you really like, you can just keep at max strength. It'll do pretty well. And yeah, if you get mutation on it, well, yeah, it's going to get more stats. So it's just going to keep becoming stronger. So yeah. Anyway, 10,000 yen. Um. And yeah, it takes the stairs to use, so let's go up. So now I'm finally getting it in this area. So now we get one item here, which is a skill card. I think it's this. Alright, got these guys again, no problem. I guess, yeah, for this video, I'll just go through this dungeon, I think. I'll talk about random stuff. So again, yeah, we'll see what happens with <laughs> my journey for the SP series. So because again, I could definitely consider my third pillar. Just think how good Persona 1 did, and how much fun I had with Persona 3 as well. I'm gonna hope that yeah, Persona 2 like follows top. in its tracks as well. Yes, again, I am liking what I'm seeing. Again, it's definitely... Out of all the Persona games I've played, it's not. It's definitely my least favorite. But that's okay. That's only gameplay-wise, I feel like. Because story-wise, it's definitely up there. So yeah, at least at the moment. Yes, again, the gameplay is just kind of... Not perfect. Like, yeah, Persona 1, yeah, I guess it's not perfect, but I can't understand it better at the moment. I feel like that might change when, um, that might change when, let me see this floor. There could be another set of stairs, but I guess we'll see. Eh, it doesn't look like it. I'll have a little look. Okay, once I understand this game, maybe I'll like it more Persona 1 gameplay-wise, but yeah. Okay, like but someone still has a soft spot in my heart, that's kind of why I like it so much. But one thing I can appreciate is that, yeah, this game is trying to correct some of the wrongs. It's like, you know, making the process of fusing is a lot easier because, like, the only thing you worry about is the game cards, the art card of the Sony one. Before, you had to worry about, yeah, fusing two things together in Persona 1, and yeah, that can be very confusing if you don't know what you're doing. So, yeah, this is definitely a lot easier to understand. It's just that, yeah, once again, the um, negotiation itself is not the best, so yeah. Because again, it's not Persona 5. Persona 5 definitely perfected it, where yeah, it's very easy, so yeah, it doesn't feel very love based, and that's definitely a good thing in my eyes. In this game, yeah, it can feel very love based, in fact, maybe too love based at points, so yeah. You want some? And I'll take you. With <laughs> more craggy bags. Because once again, these are the Persona's one level up. So there you go. Not bad at all. <laughs> Looks like you're all top. And yeah, I guess I mentioned another thing too. So what are we getting? We're getting... Uh, more stats, because... 
It can't really get much else, I think. I think the only thing it can get is the gain two ranks, which is the main thing I'm looking for when I'm wanting a mutation. So where do I want to go? I want to go um, southeast to reach another sister. So yeah. So that's going to be yeah, basically this way. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> So take on these guys. And yeah, also, yeah. Again, I can appreciate some of the changes from this game, Persona. Uh, from, yeah, Persona 1 to Persona 2. Because again, you can have me tell that, yeah, they did try to fix some things that just didn't kind of work. You don't have to worry about the positions. Everyone's position is well. That's probably an improvement too, because again, that was a bit confusing as well. In the original, or well, Persona 1, I should be saying. And again, characters that be, uh, feel more like... They they do more, I feel like, in this game, but... That's partly because, yeah, you have um, a main cost of 5 in Persona 1, you had a main cost of 4 in Subek, but then the last character, yeah, you could choose if it was, so yeah. And the story itself, yeah, that way feels more involved, I feel like, as well. So I want that we had a more basic plot, but uh, there's no problem with that. It's just that, yeah, I do think, yeah, most people I can see, I can see why they like this plot a lot. But still, the Simon will still have a special place for heart. Maybe because, again, I love its cost so much, despite being a bit more basic. And compared to any other Persona game, so that's fine. Anyway, we'll be getting a Suya. Mutation, it's just stats, but hey, it's a very strong fire episode, that's why he's still around. I want to go southeast, so yeah, probably around here. And yeah, we actually missed something on this floor. I just realized. Uh, I guess I could show it. It's Trish's farm because you know, Trish is still in this game, still hungry for, still very hungry for money though. That's the thing, sure. So yeah. So what do I want to do? I'll just keep using Craggy Fang. You know, yeah, it's probably not gonna be too useful, that's okay. Actually no, it could work. If I turn off auto. Next time I could use a different fusion spell and take out the last dude, so yeah. That's gonna be the plan. So yeah again, these two can use Towering Inferno. Or Towering Inferno. Uh Blazing Burst. Like so, and then the rest can use something like this. Because it actually hurts the... Yeah, it's actually good against those dudes because they're weak to win, so yeah. So there you go. go the balance system is a bit clunky too, but yeah, for some reason, yeah. And as it said, PSV feels like the odd one out when it comes to the battling. A lot of things that are... Like, yeah, you got the weird damage calculation, and you also have how the how inputs are done. It's a bit more clunky from what I remember of every other version of Persona 2, which is kind of weird, but yeah, they do fix Intel Punch of PSP, so that's good, I guess. And we're getting a mutation on that, and there you go, team gain two ranks. So, yeah, what's it uh, I think it's rank 7 now, so that's good. I might stay here for a little bit, because the main reason why is I kind of want to get Nekomata maxed out, although I guess we don't need to do that, necessarily. Just that, yeah, a rank... Um... A, it gets Zanma, and Zanma is the for substitution spell, so that's kind of why I'm thinking about that, so yeah. So I believe it's it, yeah. There's a Trissa Spring here, I guess I can show her, because she's got a new design this game. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna once again get rid of you. Might talk it to you, because yeah, I don't like you at all, because I get you dangerous. And once again, do some more impressions. And I'll talk about another thing too. So yeah, one thing I am enjoying about this game a lot is playing it with my friend. Whenever we chant Discord, it's definitely a lot of fun because yeah, I think the main reason why is because um, normally I'm watching my brother play games, so it's actually kind of refreshing to see someone else do that. So yeah, anyway, yeah, you can get healing co up. And yeah, I actually haven't had a chat to. Had time, yeah, had some time to chat with everyone, but again, just like for someone, I do like this dialogue as well. 
<laughs> they are expensive stuff. <laughs> Don't look it looks for you. Yep. And yeah, Yukina's in this game too. She's from Persona 1, obviously. So yeah, why do you want to pay me? Yeah, that's that's a rip-off right there. Because <laughs> we're not, yeah, walking around heals SP, at least on normal mode. I think on hard it doesn't. At least that's how it went to Persona 1, so yeah. Yeah, I'm playing this on normal. I think the main reason why is when I do do the playthrough, I'm going to do both Innocent and Teleposition on um, normal. But anyway, let's see if Mushibu will be kind to me again. Because it's more free cards and more fun with fusion leaders, so yeah. There we go. So I'll teach you. Like that good, that's what we like to see. And you have a question. Um uh, constantly wish before, why not? That's another thing too about my friend too. He's actually pretty good at the questions as well. I feel like I have a lot of problems sometimes, so yeah. Again, okay, it's very refreshing to be able to do that because yeah. <laughs> Again, yeah. <laughs> I don't like I was trying to say there, yeah. You never I never really got like yeah, my brother did watch me play some games, but yeah, not much. I'm mainly watching him play. Stuff. So again, like I said though, it's very refreshing to be able to, um, you know, do it on my own with Discord and stuff, so yeah, that was one thing I wanted to do, and yeah, I'm definitely happy to see that, yeah, it's working out quite well. But anyway, I want to let the, I mean, yeah, we could do it like this, it's time to go away some SP though, but it's fine. And I'm actually not blowing through the SP that quickly, as I thought, so yeah. Anyway, we're actually almost done with this dungeon, but I think I'm going to leave what happens in the story for another time. Oh yeah, I was using that, so I want to actually cancel that. So, once again, let's use... Um, Craggy Fang again, which is actually good against these enemies too, so yeah. So I'll do it like that, and I'll use another Blazing Burst. Like so. You let them go, but that's okay. And yeah, <laughs> that's another interesting thing too, Arayos. Like in DDS2, running into a human enemy that you can't negotiate with, that was a lot more annoying because yeah, they don't give AP or Atma points. In here though, it's just more fuel to level up your persona anyway. Like you can't get the tarot cards from them, but that's okay. You obviously get them from other enemies, so yeah. So there we go. Looks like you're all top. But yeah, once again, yeah. Can't wait to talk more about this game at a future point too. Because again, yeah, the fight, yeah, being... It definitely has shown its age a bit. Especially when it comes to negotiations. But... Outside of that though, yeah, it's definitely still a very solid game. I can't wait to show it off, talk about it, talk about the mythology too. Find some of the personas as well. Because yeah, this game definitely does a cool job of that as well. So yeah, I like a lot of things about this game despite again, it's... Faults, but that's fine. Again, that's kind of just the <laughs> deal with some older games, I guess. So yeah. And again, it's definitely fun to showcase the game purpose on my Discord as well. So yeah. Lots of fun to do that. So yeah. Anyway, that'll be the last go show. And yeah, I definitely want to show this game up because again, I definitely want to cover it on the channel. It might be Arthur Fraser. Maybe I guess we'll see. Depends on how quickly I can get through Innocence and I guess, so yeah. And yeah, hopefully I'll be all practiced up for, yeah, um, for my first playthrough. I'm definitely learning a good amount from my first playthrough, and yeah, hopefully I'll make my actual playthrough of this on the channel very good, so anyway. So like I said, onwards to Fraser. that'll be, of course, my next playthrough, and you can start to see that next time. So yeah, I look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for the channel.